everyone, it's Brownstone here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have yet another wig review for you guys. I hope you guys aren't tired of these because I have a lot more coming. So today I will be talking about synthetic wigs. Um, I don't usually talk about them. Um, I don't have too many, but I have one here. And this is from divatress.com. This is one of three wigs that they sent me. And I will be doing separate videos for each. So this is the first one. So off top, it came in a nice little bag. SO or a little box bag. Um, I really wasn't sure about synthetic wigs. I only had have a couple experiences with them but looking at the site it looks like good quality synthetic wigs so I'm really hoping that this doesn't disappoint so what I liked when I went on the website it was really affordable I think it was like around 20 to 50 dollars for each wig um, and they had a whole bunch of different colors and styles so you know I like to try different colors and whatnot so I did have to go ahead and get this white right here so hopefully this looks good off top y'all already know i'm about to name this wig storm like what else am i gonna name this wig so i'm gonna go ahead and open it with you guys i have yet to open this wig touch it feel it anything so i want to do this on camera so let's go ahead and take it out the box so here's how it looks is it stuck on here I have to. Okay, they made sure this way was secure. So it's not coming out. So I gotta cut this. So standard, it comes with the net around it. These curls are kind of cute. With the little bag inside. I do like that this is a lace front so I could, you know, glue it down, make it look as natural as I can. So I do enjoy that. Um, let me go ahead and cut this off too. So here's how it looks. It looks really pretty just by looking at it. I do like the ombre effect with it too. So here's the wig construction. So it has the two combs on the side, the one in the back, and then I think it has, yep, it has the elastic bands right here. So you could stretch it or, or tighten it up to make it fit a little bit better. So I do like that. Let me go ahead and put this on my head and see how this looks. This is a cute little wig. So it feels, it has like this yakky texture to it. So it's okay. Um, I feel like this would be the type of hair that is going to end up tangling sooner or later. But I do really like the style of this wig. It also is safe heating styling. So you could heat this wig if you want to. Ooh, hold on. This is a cute wig. I actually really like this. I actually really like this a lot. Okay, so I do like the way it fits. It fits actually really perfect on my head. So I do enjoy that. Um, this wig is actually kind of fire. Let me go ahead and cut the lace off of this and I will go ahead and give y'all the rest of my thoughts on this wig. Alright, so I'm back. I went ahead and cut the lace to it and placed it on my head. I thought I was going to use the got to be glue that I have and secure it a little more, but honestly, the way this fits, it fits perfectly and I wouldn't need that. Only thing I would do is pluck this out right here a little bit more, put some baby hairs on there, and bam, it looks natural. So that's all I would do. So. A few things that I've noticed about this wig so far. First of all, the color goes off. I do like the fact that it has like this ombre effect. It's like black. It's like this gunmetal gray 
kind of looks bluish in the in the camera a little bit and goes off to white so i do like the ombre effect i do also love the curls i really am never a fan of like hair that is halfway like i like them either real long or short and it's like halfway but it still looks really cute so i do like the little curls to it and everything a few things that i've noticed as far as cons go of course we have to talk about that um it does shed the shedding is actually noticeable and i didn't even cut anything as far as like on the hair or tweeze anything i just cut the legs and i'm over here running my fingers through the hair and the shedding it's pretty noticeable it's not like too too much but like after i run my fingers through my hair like i'm you know pulling out a few strands so that's that's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Um, another thing, um, this does have that like yakky texture to it. So that's a pro and a con just because as far as pros go, I don't like when synthetic wigs have that shiny feel and look to it. And it just, you could tell it's synthetic. But with this, when it's yakky hair, it doesn't have that shiny synthetic look to it so i do appreciate that the only thing is like with me running my fingers through my hair i haven't even put a brush to this hair yet um but with me running my fingers through my hair i could feel it getting a little tangly i could tell this is gonna be like one of those wigs that's you know if i like lay it down or something and i wear it out a few times it's gonna start getting all you know all over the place and i'm gonna have to like strain it to get it all together so that's kind of expected with this type of hair um but that's just one thing i noticed as well but yeah i really do love the color um i love how it looks i love the style of it it's really great just you know the shedding is a thing that i'm gonna have to keep an eye on for sure and then of course the tangling oh and something else i wanted to mention about this wig is the price so the price on the website is 36 95 which is a really good price um that's usually a price of a lot of synthetic wigs i see so i do like the price of this wig you can also get this style in eight different colors and what else i love about this company is the fact that they have a variety of styles i think i was just on the website and it had like 800 different wigs and you could get them in all different colors so that's something i enjoy especially for someone like me who just loves to experiment with colors i absolutely love that so you could get this style in like a black a brown and also a mint green so that's pretty cool as well but i decided to get the all white you know and of course i have to name this wig storm like duh what else am i gonna name a white wig hello so the wig rating for Storm, I will have to give her I'm gonna have to give my girl a solid seven. I think that's a good price because there is a lot of pros to this, just a few cons. Um and I think that's a good rating for a, a synthetic wig as well. So definitely a solid seven i do i do like this hair i do like how the website is set up as well um i will definitely put a direct link to this hair in the description box below and of course a link to the website i don't have a discount code with this company um but you really don't need one with these prices being as good as they are um they there was some wigs that were a little up there in price um i think they also sell a few human hair wigs too and i think that was what i was looking at so uh definitely check it out for yourself to see if this is something you would like for yourself or anybody else um as far as anything else i have to say about this wig i think that's it this color really goes off though like i really like it I could definitely make this wig look natural, which I'm definitely a fan of because I just hate synthetic wigs that look too shiny or anything. So I could, I could make some shake with this. I like that. Okay. But that's all I have for you guys today. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. 
come again soon and I will see you guys in my next video.